Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. We're so glad you're with us today as we work a problem from the Water Resources Breath section of the Civil PE exam. So let's dive in. A triangular weir has a notch angle of 90 degrees, a coefficient of discharge of 2.52, and the water depth over the weir is 14 inches. Find the flow rate of the water through the triangular weir. So to solve this problem, we're going to turn over to the PE reference handbook. And at the time of this recording, we're using version 1.2 of the handbook. And we're going to look specifically at section 6.2.5.5, which deals with triangular or V-notch weirs. It can be called either triangular or V-notch. So we see in this section we're given an equation specifically for the 90 degree V-notch weir, right? And we know we have a 90 degree V-notch weir because we're given an angle of 90 degrees in the problem statement. And so this equation from the PE reference handbook is Q the discharge equals C, which is the discharge coefficient times h, which is the head or depth of discharge over the weir in feet, raised to the 5 halves. Now, we're going to plug in what we have and solve this problem, but we need to be careful. So q, we're asked to find the flow rate. So q is the discharge or the flow rate. So that's what we're solving for. So q is equal to c. Well, c we just said was the discharge coefficient. In the problem statement, we're given the coefficient of discharge is 2.52. So 2.52 times h. So h, we said, was the water depth over the weir. And so we're given the problem statement that that is 14 inches. But we need to be careful because if we look in the PE reference handbook, this equation requires that the depth over the weir is in feet and we're given inches in the problem statement. So we need to take our 14 inches and we need to convert it to feet, which we do by dividing it by 12 unit conversions. And then we raise this whole quantity in parentheses to the 5 halves. So solving the equation, we get Q the discharge is equal to 3.705 cubic feet per second. And all of our units line up and that is closest to answer choice C. So I hope that helped you, and if you're looking for more practice and review with your civil PE exam prep, head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com and check out our ultimate civil PE breath and depth review courses, and we'll see you there.